Raptors of the Internet, my name is Alex Santa Maria, known to the Masters of Purgatory as Pudge. And this is Toby, the secret mine. That's what happens when you click the right stick. Uh, I assume by mine they mean the location where you would go to mine things out of the earth with a pickaxe and not either the secret mine like the secret thing that is only mine, like a dragon hoarding his treasure, or the secret mime, which would be a much more interesting game to me personally, but that's not what we're here to do today. We're here to play Toby and the Secret Mine. You can kind of tell where it draws its inspiration from a little bit. Uh, this is the second level of the game. I played through a little bit just to see what it was about. There's this dog. It's kind of been the non-verbal shadow thing going on, solving puzzles. Don't land in the spikes, turns out. That is painful. But if you click that lever, then you could jump and jump. I don't know how that dog did that, or was that a dog because he just kind of dug into the ground like a rabbit? But okay. What happens when we touch these bees? Nothing. You'd think the bees would be more aggressive. But instead I could just hit the X button and make him sound like a cartoon character. And dance. Ah well. Let's keep going. Nope. Or we could do that. Good checkpointing. That's good to know. Uh, from what I played, which was the first level, so I can't really say too much, but, uh, yep, I've seen that before. Uh, this does seem to have a bit more of a, I'm gonna say Oddworld vibe to it, like the first two Oddworld games. There's that dog again. Uh, cause you're rescuing, there's like this bigger dude that kinda looks like you that has children in a cage and you have to rescue them. Hopefully we'll see that man. <laughs> I can make him dance anywhere. Let's see what happens when I do this. Yeah. I figured that would happen. Okay. What? That killed it. I'm not... Did it eat a bee? Did it get stung on the... I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but okay. There's the evil dude. We have to chase him. Whenever we chase him, these drums kick in like we're in a tribal beat hotel at Disney World. And now we kind of just have to find a way to jump up there. I assume something with this platform over here. No? Yes. Excellent. I haven't seen many, like, secrets or stuff off the beaten path so far. Seems kind of like a straightforward, hey, if you like this one thing, we made this as well. Hope you might enjoy. Uh, there was a, there's been a couple other games like that. Not as many as you'd think, considering how big Limbo was. There's been a lot more Meat Boy clones. I guess maybe uh, it's a bit harder to do this kind of stylistic stuff and really uh, make it hit home like Limbo did. Oh, uh, yep. Speaking of Meat Boy, you can't jump on the walls like I just tried to do. That's not going to work. So I just hit, hit here and shimmy my shoulders. Do the jumping. Uh, it says on the main main. Oh, I guess that was the end of the level. Okay. Last one ended with a bit of a chase sequence, but it seems like a pretty linear, like, uh, you know, complete all this stuff. There's some bombs he's throwing now. He does not want us to chase him. It seems. I assume that's important. And now he's gone. 
There's a light with the button. Nope. No secret switch that time. And then everything's been kind of straightforward so far. I thought this would move. I guess not. Let's see what changed. Oh yeah, I guess I could do that too. Okay. That was weird. There's a cat. I missed the dog. Where'd the dog go? Oh, yep. There he is with his cage full of children. Just like Michael Jackson and Moonwalker, we gotta save the children for Mr. Big. That's a real video game, folks. Good one, too. I was just playing that over the weekend. As I tend to do on occasion. Every time I have an opportunity to play Genesis games, that's always the one I go to. For whatever reason. Uh, there's a child in a cage. We gotta jump over there. Nope. I assume we need to push that box more instead of just leaving it where it was. Don't know what that sign signifies. Oh, come on. I had that. It seemed like you stopped short when I was jumping there. And yeah, I already tried that too. That sign maybe signifies that I'm doing the wrong thing? That this is a trap, perhaps? No, it's just a child. Okay. Whatever video game. Hmm. Oh, okay. I think I get it. I wish there was like a separate push button to make it a bit easier to uh, position these in exactly the way I want them to be. But this works so far. Oh, that's not, that's not, oh no, that's not good. Don't do that game. So yeah, apparently they don't, like for something like this where you kind of want them to be one block at this point. It's preferable that I don't have to push both of them separately. Like this. There we go. Uh, the Coalition have been here working on the new gears, apparently. Going deeper into the secret mine. There's a hexagon from the future. What? Uh, that one. Nope. Uh. Oh wait, okay, so. Yeah, this might be better with a mouse. Oh wow, I did it. I kind of guessed what the third one was from my memory. Alright. Nothing crazy there, just a quick little door puzzle. We'll do a little bit more. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go, man. Limbo. And the secret mine of Toby. Anything in the water other than- No, just the cold, cold embrace of death is in the water.
Uh, here's the, uh, the spike mining, where you tenderize the ground before you take the minerals out to make it more, uh, juicy. Okay, you can't hit the sides of blocks. Still good checkpointing, though. Uh, hard to get frustrated at that. Uh, you could kind of tell that this was made for the, uh, maybe, if not mobile first, definitely mobile, um, what's the word? Made for mobile, like, customized so it would work on a mobile device. The buttons in the main menu are definitely, uh, rounded out, and you could see how there's not too much going on button-wise. Mm -hmm. I have to hit this lever. I can't hit this lever. I s oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, and every- there's not like a- I'd like more if there were maybe visual cues on where to go instead of just, oh hey, here's a interactable point that's flashing. Go hit it, you idiot. I guess I got it. Alright. Maybe that's like a missing gear? Oh, can't hit the side. Yeah, really, like, checkpointing for everything here. Alright, that didn't do anything. Huh. I guess there are more? I guess we gotta go back further. Alright. Ah, oh, those moist, moist footsteps. Nothing gets your heart racing. That was more than generous to that warp me ahead, that checkpoint. Do I need this minecart? No? Oh, okay. All the way here. No, nothing? Huh. Alright. We'll go back. Oh, there we go. There's a... There's a hidden child. That's always good to have in the, your back pocket. Small children to do your bidding. I haven't seen anything else, like, uh, super creepy going on in the background, or anything like that. I know it wants to be its own thing, but... It is really hard not to compare something like this to, uh... It's like... You know... The Gianna Sisters was a fine video game back in the day, but... You know it's a Mario game, right? Same thing here, really. I have no idea what to do. There's not that many buttons, too. It's like jump and interact, and the interact button when you're not doing anything is a shoulder shimmy. Um, I'm gonna go back. Oh, wait. I see. I see. I wasn't supposed to pick something up on that. I was supposed to ride it. There we go. First clever thing that I've seen. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't jump at the right time there, but... More stuff like that. More visual cues. And I guess you would probably really need that, uh, little flashing thing there. Because otherwise that would probably have been impossible to see. Although I guess there's no spikes there, where there are spikes everywhere else, so... In any case. Let's see what else awaits us on this dark and stormy night. Alright. 
going up. I bet this just leads to a secret. No, that seems pretty necessary. Turn on the light. Don't turn on the dark. Turn on the light. Turning on the dark is never a good idea. Whether you're Spider-Man or not. Alright, I guess uh, I can't get up there, I don't think. So, we're going back down with this key. Or we're gonna go see what the crab people are doing down below. Alright, still have the key. Again, super generous checkpointing, but we're going down because I didn't find that right. Oh, see, listen, you can hear, like, the mechanics of that going back up, like, oh, that's weird. Why is it doing that? Someone's controlling it. Could it be the children? Old Grandpa Amos? Back in the well, he's controlling it from a cabin in the woods with Scooby-Doo and his friends? The Harlem Globetrotters have to investigate. Happy Halloween, everybody. Alright, for this thing, I assume we have to, like, swing it? Yeah. Give it a bit of momentum. Which, this is not the most elegant thing in the world, but... A little bit more. Ah! Oh. So close. Okay. Come on, come on. Nope. Oh, it didn't. I wanted to give myself a bit more time there. So I guess I want to do it when it's up. Or when it's going up like that, so. Cause it'll be down, yeah, right here. All right. This could take a bit shorter amount of time, I think. This doesn't have to be... I mean, I get the point of it, but... I don't know. If only there were more buttons on this controller where I could maybe grab it and swing it from side to side, or... Maybe this was tilt controls on mobile. That might make sense. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Oh, that's a real shame. What happened there? And I did I did the wrong thing. I think no, I'm good. Okay. All right. Swing your logs from side to side. Platform until you die. Okay, got it. So yeah, that was kind of a extended secret there. We're gonna hit this button. Turn on the lights, and we're at the end of the level. Okay. So that's a, a brief look at what you can expect from Toby and the Secret Mind if you're interested in some Limbo-like fun for the whole family. Uh, if you uh, shop at the Hot Topic, perhaps, 
and you enjoy your dark trips to the graveyard. You can have fun with this small dark child um, experiencing an emotional journey through the rainy depths of his soul and rescuing children from cages. Um, unlike Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, though, this game does not have a uh, sparkle spinning uh, for a special move or kicks to the face for gangsters. So I can't give it my full recommendation. But if you're interested, it is available on Steam. Uh, thank you to the fine developers for giving me a key to try this game out. And uh, I will see you on the next video where I will play a different game, I assume. Unless I play this one again. In which case, I'll probably be confused and just let us know in the comments. And uh, the proper authorities will come to help me out of my jam. So uh, again, I'm going to hide behind this pillar. Hide behind the... Come on. Yeah. Apparently, I can't hide behind the pillar. Anyway, I'll see y'all later.